so hello dear hope you all are doing pretty well so today we will be continuing our project where we left it out okay so basically i am going to divide this video in three section means there will be one video only but section will be three in first section i am going to grab the data from the data table and i am going to store it in some constant variable secondly i am going to create a high chart from that data which we have already grabbed from our table now in the third one and in the last section i am going to redraw the chart so that whenever there is any changing in the data table our chart will get changed accordingly so let's go and start our uh, project so before that i will tell you one thing we have to mention this four file okay so you just remember this four file i will give one link in the description of my google drive account so that you can go there and you can download this all file and you can mention it in your project also and uh, some cdns are there uh, you can look after this all cdns this all cdns we have to include it in our project so just copy and paste it over there okay so we have mentioned our all cdns and our library is populated with our javascript folder of jquery high chart and uh, jquery.ninja.js fine so let's come and we will write our three function which we which i already told you to create so first of all we are going to create one function for getting our table data so get table data and i am going to pass here table this table i am going to pass so that we can grab all the data from the table and we are going to store it in some const and what i can write is like table data fine so this is the first section and in the second section i am going to create a high chart so i will write create high chart and then table data i am going to pass this table data so that our chart will get created by that data more specifically and now in the third one i am going to set table event you can say set table events and then what i am going to pass again same table because whenever there is any change in our table then we are going to change our high chart accordingly so for that redrawing and reconstructing of our high chart we are going to call this set table event function so let's come and start our first section i will write first section so i'll write function get table data and then i will i will name it as table now create my high chart based on name and age okay so in my x axis there will be name and in my y axis there will be age so let's come here and then i will i will create const data array equal to mp and then i told you we have to create name and then age just close it now i am going to loop through the table and the looping is going across table rows so i can give it over here like table dot rows and then we are going to apply the search on that so search should be what applied here it will be l i e d just apply the search and dot to every function every create the function function okay what we have to do we have to create one const data in this we are going to take the data so this dot data this is a predefined and our data will be stored in this data variable and then what i am going to do in the name array i am going to push what i have to push data of name got it so this is the name which i am writing it here great so let me remove this what this is a mistake okay so in age is dot push again data of age so as i told you i am going to plot the chart based on name and age so this both i have given now the last step is to put this both data in our data array so data array dot push and then what i have to push name comma age so this is the zeroth index and this is the first index so at the time of create, creating high chart we'll use this data array so let's close this 
and after that at last what we have to do we are going to store it in table data so for that we have to return return data array so this is it's our first section so let's come across our second section now in the second section what we have to do we have to create another function and that is create high chart so function create high chart and then it is going to take the data after giving the data what i have to do i have to write high high chart dot this is the predefined high charts dot chart and we have to provide some division where we are going to show this high chart so i will name it as chart and then let me come down this body let me create a division and then for this id will be id will be chart okay the comma and then open this after that we have to set some title t i t l is title title will be like uh, what title i can give uh, so text would be a uh, friend i will give a for i and b friend this is our title if you have to give subtitle then also you can mention uh, so for that we have to write attribute as sub title and then again open this write text and in the text of what title you can give uh, best friend i will write anything you can write it's up to you so best friend we have written now x axis and y axis two more attribute we have to mention because uh, high chart consists of a lot of attributes so this two are the most important attribute uh, x axis and then create this array and then in x axis what i am going to write categories categories as uh, in x axis i told you we have to plot name so name is there in zeroth index i told you know so data of zero that name will be there and one more thing i am going to add it here is label bls labels so the label will be like i am going to provide attribute of rotation because i don't want to be it in horizontal manner i want to be it in some tilted manner so rotation i am going to give it as minus 45 degree so it will be slightly tilted so let me give comma and now y axis it's time for y axis create this array again create this one and so for y axis what we have to do we have to again set some title so what title we can give so we can give it as uh, age in y axis i am going to provide age so i will give better age and then let it be i don't want to do anything with that now the last one is series and then do this okay So in series, I am going to mention name, name as uh, like friend, okay. And then uh, what I can give color, I will give color attribute is also there. So what I can give hexaco, I don't remember any hex code for the color. So better I will give for black. I know this one only one, two, three, four, five, six. So, so this is also over. now another one is type. So what kind of high chart it will be? So type as uh, C O L U M N column. So it will be a column type, and then I am going to store data of data of one. Age will be reflected in our series. The series one I will show you when I will run this program basically. So we don't have to do anything much more here. And this is what our high chart is. So we'll better save and come to our third section. third section so in the third section what we have to do we are going to create a function that is function and the name is set table event i guess so we'll better copy this otherwise we'll miss spelled it now we are going to pass table so here what i am going to do first of all we have to listen for page click okay so table dot on and then on this page wherever you are and create one function 
so I will better create like this and I will set draw as true so we have to create one variable let draw draw as false fine okay so what we have to do now we have we will listen for update and then adjust the chart accordingly so for that we will write another function table dot on and then draw oh, this draw is quite difficult to write and then create a function ok now we will check if draw if it is true then we will set draw as draw as false or else what we will be doing we will const table data equal to we will we will call this function again uh, say get table data because we are going to get again all the element from the table we are going to get all the element from table and again we are going to plot the high chart so create high chart and then we'll pass table table data so I guess this is it for the third section also just save it and come okay just minimize it open our Google Chrome and write okay, let me close this go file and just write go file oops this is my table upload in the meanwhile yeah it won't take that much time okay so we are success open this and uh, click on the down downloadable link just minimize it go to our code in our just paste it and then save it and so hope for the best we are going to run our program and then open with google chrome so again some problem is arriving over here we will inspect till that time what is this okay so we have to do one thing we will just try to cut this and paste it in upper side portion just save it again and run it so now as you can see we are good to go with this okay so now you can see whenever I am going to hover over here you can see Ajit and friend I have written friend 22 okay so I will do the changing here I will better write in uh, in my series I will write age just age just save it and come here again rerun it now you can see age is 22 name is Ajit you can see this is what our series reflect I told you no, I will explain you here at the time of giving demo now you can see Avinas age is 21 so likewise Irfan age is 20 and now you you are looking at this friend friend is basically this text and subtitle I told you it is not that necessary but if you want you can give it there so this is our subtitle and x-axis y-axis you can see everything if I will do this everything will be shuttered off and then it will be like this so now what we will do we will search for the name now what we want is whatever we will write here like s n oh so sorry so some something is missing over here so when i have to write s n it has to display this s n like s will be there so it has to only find that solution which is there in this table like this three data only i want to see when i am writing this s so some mistake i have done in my coding it's better to come here and uh, we'll try to sort it out where is that mistake so our redrawing is not happening so first of all we will check for the redrawing draw is false and then ok so we will change this this as draw as true now again we will come we will refresh this page and I will write as so still some problem is there so after redrawing what we have to do we are calling this get table data so we will come to get table data and we will try to print dot dot log dot log 
suppose name first of all I am trying to just debug it so you can see name is coming now if I'll write as oh okay fine so it is not it is taking as an okay. so when I am writing as it has to display only as name and it is not displaying so some mistake we have done mostly here so table dot row and this search spelling is wrong okay so sorry for that type type error happened with me so now again save it and just refresh this again try to build your s now you can see so we did one simple mistake here and that is basically a typo error so search spelling i, w I have given wrong at that time so wherever s letter is there it has identified that s letter and it has drawn the table now suppose if i will uh, i will write uh, one particular name like s o n y so you can see sony only one name is coming with that name it is plotting this high chart let me close this console and one more thing you can see here high chart.com is coming here but i don't want to show this credit here okay so for this credit we have to add a simple attribute in our code so we'll come here and we'll give comma and then we'll write credit and enable enable e -N -A -B -L -E -D, enabled as false okay so this credit enabled is false now you just save it come here and refresh it now you can see that highchart.com watermark has gone basically so this is all about our chart and as i told you you can easily plot your chart you can easily reconstruct your chart according to your need and I will try to introduce some good color. Uh, already I am having one color. So 0071 A7. 071 A7. Yeah, right. So just refresh it. So now this color is somewhat good. And you can put any name. So for R, there is two names Irfan and Ravi. So this is all about today's video. And hopefully it helps you. So if you want to include it in your project, you can easily go through this and you can add it in your project so that's all guys thank you hopefully you like this video and if you really like this video please do subscribe and uh, comment down below if you are having any problem i will try to resolve it out and uh, that's all thank you guys